All right, so I thought I'd talk about uh, making comic books and graphic novels. I've been uh, I've been doing this for uh, not very long, like only like a couple years, um, and I haven't published anything. I've self-published something, but um, I've mostly just been working on my own, um, trying to develop stuff and. Um, I'm having a lot of fun with it. It's kind of like curating your own TV show. At least that's how I see it in a way. It's kind of fun like that where you're writing out this plot and you, you don't really know what's going to happen sometimes and, you know, things change. Um, but I guess that's the case for a lot of creative writing um, and storytelling, I guess. But anyways, um, I thought I'd talk about how I have been using um, blank comic books to make a comic recently. I've been filling up a whole bunch of these blank comic books, I think about like four of them. And uh, I've been, you know, uh, making this story um, and uh, with with a few characters that I like, they're sort of like a, um, a weird dystopic story. And um, it's been a, it's been a really cool journey making this comic, um, filling up these notebooks, and uh, I've learned a lot along the way. I've done a lot of research trying to figure out, you know, comic comic formatting and um, efficient ways to, like, tell a story using comics, and, um, you know, uh, it's been really cool. Um, and while uh, I've been do doing this research, I saw someone posting, um, I think on Reddit or something, about how using blank comic books can be seen as kind of a crutch and um because you know i guess it kind of explains itself and, and i suppose it's it makes sense like i i can understand why it can be seen as a crutch especially because um there's not that many blank comic books out there that do a good job of um of like giving a comic book writer a kind of steady stream of pages that have good formatted frames that um are versatile enough to um be used for a lot of different types of framing but um not too like elaborate or crazy um that can be kind of distracting or can kind of demand a certain type of for uh, storytelling um i think the i think the blank comic books i found they're made by um I think the, they're called, um, the Unemployed Philosophers Guild. Um, they made these really great ones that I found. Well, I got my first one as a gift, um, for my girlfriend. And, uh, I think she probably regrets that gift at this point because I've been, um, working on these books for <laughs> a long time. Um, it's been taking up a lot of my time, but you know, it's a lot of fun. It's kind of the point. Um, and, uh, and, uh, yeah, these ones are really great because somehow this Unemployed Philosophers Guild company, um, managed to have this, like, repeating, um, I think, like, four or five or six pages of, um, frames that, like, it's, like, six pages, but each page has, like, a different, um, use of framing, like, it has, like, different size frames, like, one has, like, a giant frame at the bottom with like three skinny ones at the top and um you know there's a few very vari variations um and uh somehow this has worked really well for me where each time i turn the page i don't really feel like i'm burdened by some crazy format that i've seen in a lot of other blank comic books i've seen like i don't know i've seen some really weird um designs that almost seemed distracting. Like, I've been to Target, and I saw, like, these blank comic books that have just really strange frames that um, I just feel like are kind of distracting. Um, and and I've, I've seen a lot of this in, um, in Amazon uh, products, too, where it's just the frames look really weird. I, there's a lot of good ones, too, but these ones are the best, I think, just for me. Um, the frames are all just like regular shapes. Um, they're not like slanted or anything like that. And um, each book has about like 48 pages, I think. Um, 
So they're kind of small books, but you know, I kind of filled them up fast, but it's nice. They're really portable. They're really small, um, but they're not too small to be like, you can't be too detailed. And I feel like they're almost like just small enough to be a size that you don't get um, too caught up in making it a super detailed image. I think um, as like a person that's trying to make this um, graphic novel by myself, I, uh, I could definitely waste a lot of time on details. And when you have something small like this and you have to work within these limits, uh, I think it, I think it makes me tell the story faster and get it out of my system and definitely free me up to work on different projects in the future. I remember I saw a YouTube video, uh, recently about, I forgot the name of the video, but, um, the, uh, the narrator was a graphic novelist who made a novel that took him like, you know, 10 years or something. I don't know exactly. And he was talking about how he wanted to, um, pick up his pace with, making these because you know he wants to make a lot of books he doesn't want to just make a few extremely detailed books and I think I agree with that and I think these books are helping me to do that but again like the critique side of this would be saying that like it's a crutch like the person I read online said um to be using these because you know they are deciding your frames for you and um you can't be entirely in control of it um it's almost like um it's almost like some type of preset, you know, formatting, which I guess is exactly what it is. Um, and I can understand how that is like not desirable. Sometimes it can be limiting using this where I can't, you, I can't really make the frames more unique in certain situations. Like if I have like a really, you know, dramatic mo moment, um, I can't, you know, erase the frame and, uh, and make it really like, all right, and, or, you know, I can't really take over the whole page with an image and stuff like that. But, you know, I suppose I actually could do those things. Um, just after I scan the pages and put them in a computer, I could erase these lines and um, really take over the whole thing. But I understand how maybe and and also, you know, I, I don't I don't know what it's going to be like as a reader. Um, I wonder if having a repeating format like this for a reader is going to be annoying. I'm wondering if maybe that's not the case maybe maybe it won't be so bad for a reader to have this repeating format and um that is to be found out i've read through this a few times and i seem to forget that there's a repeat repeating format so that's a good sign and i think that i'm gonna kind of switch it up when i put this through my computer and add more pages and add more unique um, formatting to break it up a lot and I think that's going to solve any of those problems uh, in a post-production type way, I guess. Uh, so I think if I were to make a sort of pros and cons list for what I'm doing here with making a comic in blank comic books, I would say that the pros um, are that it's... Um, it's convenient. It's extremely convenient to not have to draw frames um, every time and not, to not worry about it every time you're kind of flowing with an idea to not have to like stop and draw the frames. I suppose like you could draw out a bunch of your own frames ahead of time, but I don't know, maybe that's the same thing. Um, another pro is maybe, uh, uh, another pro is that, I guess this is more specifically for the books I'm using, but having these pre-drawn frames kind of limits the space you can use. And then I, I see that as a benefit because it makes it so I don't get caught up too much, like detailing an image too much, which um, I know can be a dividing kind of um, opinion because it's, it's definitely desirable in a lot of situations to have like a really detailed piece. And, and it's definitely um, admirable to work really hard on uh, vis visualizations and try to, um, you know, make a really detailed image that is really beautiful and really kind of captures something. But sometimes from my perspective, I just feel like I want to just tell a story and um, I want to tell a story in like a simple way and I want to 
not get caught up too much um, working in details and uh, and I suppose I can do like a few run throughs to like re to like you know tell the story in kind of a rough out rough uh, drawing or in a script or something and uh, and then go over it again and make it all a lot more, de more detailed which is probably what I'm going to do but um, yeah uh, and if I were to move on to um, cons I would just say that you know it's uh, it's limiting, I guess, but you know it's a pro and a con in a weird way. I'm I'm being a little optimistic about this whole thing, um, but yeah, uh, it's a uh, limiting, um, and uh, and you'll probably um, get made fun of by people in the I don't know comic making community. It's probably seen as like a kiddie kind of thing to do, um, which you know I get completely. It's um. You know, but uh, at the, at uh, at the end of the day, in my overarching opinion, um, I think I think they're great. I don't think there's any reason to hold prejudice against uh, people that use blank comic books um, to make comics. I think uh, they're a great way to tell a story, and um, from the like artist perspective, it's like extremely.